Hello, I welcome you once more again to Remedia, one YouTube channel where we give you all the information that you needed for you to succeed in your WASIC exams, being integrated science, English, core, mathematics, or elective. Today, we are looking at uh, 2022 elective mathematics question question number five which happens to be a histogram at least if today is your first time here go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so anytime we drop a video you'll be notified we have been given the table that shows the distribution of the marks obtained by students in a specific test they want us to go ahead and draw a histogram and then use a histogram to estimate the modal mark you have to know the difference between histogram bar graph so we know that histogram have to be when we draw it has to be classes together by looking at the marks you could see that there is a gap because here stop at 14 and here pick up from 15. so let's go ahead and uh, create our table in the process of creating our table we have to create the boundaries because the histogram have to be clustered together and here as we could see there is a, a gap because this n are 14 and here jump into 15. so because of that we have to make sure they cluster together let's go ahead and do that. for us to create a histogram we need the class boundaries the class boundary we are going to use the max which is the class limit here the mark limit here to create a class boundaries so as we already said it has to be together because of that we are going to reduce this one by 0 0.5 that is the rule we reduce the lower limit by 0 0.5 so it's going to be 9.5 and then the 0 0.5, we will add it to the upper limit here. So 14.5. Pick it from here. When you lower, you see it's now going to join together. So 14.5, 19.5, 19.5, 24 24.5. Okay, so go ahead and finish all of it. Okay, the class boundaries has been completed and you can see that now they are sharing a common boundary the graph will be provided so go ahead and then we're going to create our histogram so the way a has been done so we're going to create our histogram the vertical line is going to be the frequencies and then the horizontal is going to be the max but this time around we are not going to write this max but rather we are going to write the class boundary so here we could see the highest frequency was 12 so if we go by 1 1 that will be helpful it didn't give you the scale you have to figure it out so here it's going to be one two three four and so on and here make sure you write your zero as an origin coming to the max we are going to pick the lower class boundaries 9.5 14.5 19.5 24.5 okay so go ahead and complete that then you have to pick the 49 as the last upper limit before then you have to break it a little bit here but we are not going to start from the origin so you have to break it if you don't do it you're going to lose point so make sure you do that the first one the frequency is four four is here so use your ruler draw vertical bar using your ruler nicely the next one is five so they are joined together so this one will be just five Draw it nicely. The next frequency is 6. The next is 12. So it goes all the way up here. Next frequency is 10. Beautifully. Next is 8. Frequency is 3. Okay, from here. And the next last one is 3. All right, so now you have able to create your histogram. The next question is, they want us to use the histogram to estimate the modal mark. So we know that the mode is the highest frequency. 
So we don't know that particular one. So for us to estimate it from the graph, all that you have to do is that you see the highest frequency, the joint, the next one is this one. So you're going to draw from here a diagonal, this point here, all the way to this point here. And then you come to the lower side, you're also going to draw a diagonal to the end over there using your ruler where these two lines meet we're going to trace it all the way to the max to get your modal map we're going to go down to get your modal map you have to see that the width of each was five and there's five boxes so that means each of it box to one so we got one two three and a half so that means a modal mark which is a b is just going to be 24.5 plus 3.5 which will give us we get 28.0 but uh, always they will give you a range if you go above 0.25 you still get it right and if you go below 0.25 you still get it right all right so let's see how and the marking scheme for this one so creating the table able to create a class boundary you're going to get b4 so that means each of them is 0 0.5 if you miss any of them you're going to lose 0 0.5 able to create the y axis and the x axis and then graphing the histogram then they will give you method one then able to reading the modal mark from the histogram you get accuracy one in case you didn't show the break there should be a break over here as we did because it's not standard. if you did not they are going to take a half a point and if you didn't bring the zero here you're also going to half a point will be taken away thank you very much for sticking with me all the way to the end uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so if you like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up now we'll see you in the next video bye bye